Hi guys, today I want to show you how to open and write on and save a PDF file using the Google Drive app Doc Hub. So let's get into it right away. Here's the assignment the Grade 8 Social Studies class had yesterday. And it is a current events edition. It's a PDF file. So we're going to first of all save the file in our drive. Then we're going to right click this file and open with. Now another way to go about that is to double click it and it opens in this viewer and from here if you don't have Doc Hub you can select this option connect more apps. I happen to have Doc Hub ready to go and so I'm going to open it using Doc Hub. And you can see sometimes depending on what you've opened or loaded so far, you might get this option to create a duplicate or use existing. So be really thoughtful about which option you select here. I'm going to select create a duplicate. That means, oh, okay, or not. So I'm just opening the original file. And I want to show you, like I said, how to edit this file, how to write on it and how to save it. So you can see I've already written a little bit of text here. I'm going to select this text tool and you can see just by selecting the line it already senses the size of text that I want to use and it puts the text directly on the line nicely and easily. So I'm just going to enter a sample answer here. I think the answer was 29. Canada won 29 medals at the Olympics. Now, for some reason, it wants to distort it a little bit. Maybe that was a setting I used before. So just stretch it out like this. Which two countries finished ahead of Canada in the medal count? I don't know if this is the answer, but I, th I think it was Norway and Germany. So we'll say Norway. There we go. Norway and Germany finished ahead of Canada. And you can see how fast this is and how quickly it works. So just go through the page like that. Go down to the next page, enter an answer here or whatever the assignment calls for. Now I also want to show you how to add a blank page because I've assigned a couple of these questions in the discussion area and there's no space for students to write. So what do you do about that? What I want you to do is select the page controls over here. Select the page that you are working on, right click it and check out this option here insert blank page and you can see i've already done that so i'm going to go ahead and and delete that or undo one of my blank pages now that i have this blank page i can again select the text tool and just go ahead and write down whatever i want so let's say i'm answering number one i can't remember what the number one question is but let's see which one would you like to train for and participate in? So you might say, I would like to train for the bobsled event. Okay, and then skip down and whatever questions you need to answer, just go ahead and do that. This whole page is yours for the taking. Once you are finished, I'll show you this page as well. You should be able to add text, no problem down here. Once you are finished, the saving process is really important. You want to make sure you do this carefully. Otherwise, if you don't save your work, it might be gone. So you don't want that to happen at all. That would make you very sad. So select download, and then you've got these different options. I have not tried the classroom option. That would be very cool if you could submit directly to classroom. Have not tried that. Let me just see what happens here. Oh, create share link. So you might be able to submit a link directly on Classroom that links me to your PDF. This is the option I've used, putting your document in Google Drive. And make sure you, I think any of these options for an assignment will work. So go ahead and I'm going to select create new copy and that will let me name the document with a new name, new file name, and then export to Drive. So you can see it's saving to my Google Drive. And if you want to make sure you know where the file is, there should be an option here to show in Drive. Let's see if it comes up. Just a little bit of a delay here. 
Okay, here you can see the option says show in drive. So I'm going to select show in drive and it's going to take me to my Google Drive and actually show me the file that I just made. And you can see if I hover over this, it says sample. That was the copy that I made. Now, just go back to Google Classroom and make sure you upload the correct version of the file. So I would say in the assignment, just upload it and then maybe double check, just open the file, even after you submitted, if that's possible, just make sure you're uploading the, the version that contains the text that you added, um, just so that you don't sort of waste your teacher's time as he, open, he or she opens a file only to find it all blank. So there's a little bit of saving and opening stuff that we need to figure out there, but other than that, this is a great PDF writer Big fan of it, big fan of the convenience, the speed, and I think you'll like it too. That's all for now from the Cloud Apps Tutor.